Okay, y'all, this is part two of, um, you know, the Great Big Old Heifer Girl series. It's a shame that they get on here and just be, you know, and just make themselves look such a mess. You know, it's, it's, it's awful how they do this. But, you know, you have to overlook them half the time because they ain't never had nothing. And at the end of the day, they're just a great big old heifer fool. I mean, paying over $3,000 for a couch. And then they break the legs on all the couches, everything in the house, all the furniture. It ain't got no legs on it. That's why they have to automatically get this insurance. They have to get sofa insurance. Big heifer girl sofa insurance. The, the, you know, because they break the legs off of all the damn uh, couches and sofas and stuff in the house. I mean, all the bed springs, all the all the box springs is broke. You know that wooden piece that go across on uh, each part on the bottom of the bed. You know what hold up the box springs that broke, and so then her part, her half of the bed that she sleep on, all the box springs is ha have all you know deformed down. So you know it's like her ass be on the floor and her and her head be up above the above the mattress. That's why she sleep on that sofa because she says, shit, I done paid over $3,000 for it. And then her man be in the bed like, oh man, $3,000 and I can't even get no poontang. And all this different stuff they wear on their head. It don't be nothing but all them toe blouses and, and all this different stuff. What, you know, the seams, them broken them. So they turn around and make head rags and panties out of them. Cause see, the panties don't last long. Cause see, all their thighs rub together, and so all the inside of their panties just it, it just turn it just shreds, you know. Or you have all these just shredded parts of it, so they have to throw them in the trash can. So all them toe blouses and you know toe skirts and all this different stuff, all the seams, you know everything in there. You know she have to keep a needle and thread all in them closets. And then and, 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 uh, bobby pins and safety pins and stuff. It's uh, all that different stuff holding up, holding all them different stuff together. All that taping, different, all that, all the other different stuff. That's why every time they take they, every time they take a bath, it, like, it's, it smell like they don't, they don't have no bath because they be walking around smelling like tape, funky tape. But anyway, the men just put up with it because. Half the time it just be somebody that they be on scraped up off the sidewalk out there somewhere. You know, any man what you know, any man what passing. Cause see what they do in the summertime. See they sit out there in the um, on on the steps and and they wear their toe skirts and see and their panties be on shredded. So and and they have to hold their legs open where. Where their thighs can air out, you know what I'm trying to say? Cause it be so sweaty down there. It, it, it be so sweaty and runny, and so the man get a sniff of it, and he stop, and then they put on that first grade smile, like, "Ooh, I'm so cute." And you notice how she got her little things up there, what to show, what you know, how special she is. It's two of them, cause see, uh, one ain't enough. You know, they have to have two of everything. And um, usually them bra straps and stuff, they be on, you know, they be on stretch so. And if if they get to where they can't pin one side up to one of them toe blouses, then they have to take it and then run it through the crack of their ass and then strap it to them panties. And half the time, half the time, anytime they wear pants, them panties, anytime they bend over, you see the panties all the panties, the panties be all up above their navels. But yet they get on here and feel the need to brag about that they got, you know, big helpful couch insurance. Listen to them. So when anything goes wrong. Right. Anything goes wrong. Like them bra straps be stretching, them, them bra straps be popping, them panties be shredding. Them men be getting a, um, a big thump. Funky smell of the, all, all that, you know, all them between them thighs, where them thighs been rubbing together, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, she had to let all the other, you know, help us out there know. Look, y'all, I'm twice as special as y'all is. Can y'all see? Look at me. I don't want to hear what she got to say. Let's see what she gonna do next. Okay, we see it. See, this is what they do when they ain't never had no uh, debit card before. 
you know. They ain't never had no debit card. They ain't never had no credit card. They ain't never had no man that stayed with them for longer than two or three months because they eat up all the food. And actually, the man has to do all the cooking because by the time they get through cooking, half the pots and pans be you know, ate up. Uh, see, they be you know, ate up half the stuff from tasting the food while they're cooking it. We see it. What is that, I wonder? Let's see what that is, y'all. Okay, that's the sofa. Y'all see how much the big old heifer, heifer food I'm paid for that sofa? For my cows, nigga. Okay. And it's a shame that ain't, ain't ain't enough room for your nigga to sit on it with you, is it? Look at all these different receipts what she got. And she cussed so much. Probably because, you know, she can't get rid of all that flab up under her arm. And and see, and that's why up under her up under her arm it just be running so much from all that sweat. It just be funky. You know, that's one of them big old funky hefty, hefty bag uh heifers. Bitch ass nigga. Okay. Sweaty ass hoe bitch. Heifer bitch. Croker sack heifer bitch. That nigga. Okay. That's why your ass be wearing your panties on top of your head. Because that's what they used to do when you was a little girl. You just, you know what? The, even in school, the, the teacher used to take the yardstick and hit your ass upside the head all the time because you would, look, you would be looking cross-eyed. She would tell you, look at the chalkboard up there, and you'd be looking out the damn door. Couch. Yeah, we don't have to hear what she says because a lot of times, y'all, the most awfulest things come out of their mouths. Probably because most of the awfulest things go in them. And they say, and look at them how they just get on that. You know, you notice how the big girls, the only thing they can move is their head and their neck. You know, it's like their neck just can't move, but their head and that chin. See, it's that chin and them cheeks, them them great big old fat cheeks is is what make their head wobble from side to side. Watch them. Oh yes, honey girl, you go. Yeah, girl. This is how they talk to their girlfriends. But see, this is what their girlfriends really be thinking. Mm-hmm. No, he didn't, girl. You lying. You didn't get you none. You know you bought you know you bought yourself them two balloons up there. Up here fronting and stunting. Like a hefty bag heifer. Two thousand eighteen. Yeah. They know what year it is. Nobody even know who you are. That's right. And then they get up here and then they show their figure. See how they show their figure, y'all? Now, they make sure they wear stripes where it look like it blend in with the, you know, with the background and that. You see how they got that lamp on real, real bright where the shadows, you notice she don't have no shadows. And, um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm kind of like, you know, at the um, at the carnival. You know how they have these um, these these different little freak show women at the carnival and stuff? That's what she looked like. Actually, she used to be at the carnival. That's one of them carnival uh, helpers. You know, they had to kick her out the carnival because, see, they couldn't keep nobody to, to come and see her because... It was like all, you know, they were stepping in all this different uh, sweat and stuff, you know. The honor, the honor her arms be sweating, uh, between her legs be sweating, between her thighs be sweating. And then all these different um, um, loose bra straps and stuff be hanging out, hanging out the back of their toe blouses and stuff. And then plus, they can't never get the smell out of them panties. And they had them hit rags. They be making hit rags and stuff out of them panties. All them, all them nightgowns, you know. All them frayed nightgowns with, you know, toe seams and 
uh, hymns and all this different stuff. And then they head be full of needles and, 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 and threads and safety pins and bobby pins. And then, see, they get up there and, and they just, you know, act the fool. You know, really, you should sit down somewhere. You really should not do that. You, you know, you, you really look like you finna mount something. Is that how you mount your man? Your make pretend man? That's how you mount him? You go, girl. Body shame. Body shame? I, ain't, I didn't even say nothing about your body. But, you know, if I, if I saw a body, it would be a body to shame. I don't see one. All I see is like, you know, it looked like the lines of the of the of the solar system, you know. The <laughs> I'm looking into space. <laughs> this what I'm looking at is the orbit, Earth's orbit, and all the planets orbiting around the around the Earth. Around the sun. And and see, and that's how they look when they be like, ooh, come on and get you some. Ooh, and, them, and, and, and the back of them jeans be so wet from where them thighs be rubbing together. And they tell all the other girls, y'all, come on, y'all. Let's go and stand in the line at the at, at Krispy Kreme. My face. Ooh, listen to her. And why they talk like that? You know? Probably because there be so many other the other, other rest of them, you know, watching and stuff. So they try to tell each other, you know, how to how to how to set things, you know, because even if you ask them their name, you know, my name, uh, pudding tang, heifer bitch, croaker sack, hefty bag bitch. And they always got something on their mind. Always got something on their mind. And they can't do nothing by themselves. All of them have to have to go to the uh, grocery store together. All of them have to go to the club together. They said, "Well, you know, at least if it's all of us together, we, you know, if if don't nobody ask us to dance, we, you know, we won't look so so stupid around here. And if they don't know how to spell nothing else, they know how to spell stupid. Because half the time, that's how they be looking." From elementary school on up through college, you know them, you know them little trade schools what they go to. You can't tell them nothing then, you know, because they be they be walking around with all their books and their book bag and stuff, trying to walk in their high heels, and they try to walk, but you know what? Them heels just be like wobbling from side to side, and they can't wait till it's time to sit down. And every day in class, they kick their shoes off because all them calluses and stuff start running. And plus, they be slipping out their shoes, you know, because uh, because from where their thighs be rubbing together, all that sweat, all them droplets of sweat, it be dropping down into their heel, into the heels of their high heels. And so half the time, all you hear is this little clunk, 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 clunk from where their heels be, like, you know, going from side to side. And then plus, they can't keep their feet in their shoes. But yet, they get online. You know, after they be done wiped all the sweat from up under their arms and stuff and in between their legs and they get online and they feel like they special because they be done just tied a new pair of panties around their head. You a whole fucking... And listen to them. You know, and they be talking like they ain't never seen no man before. You know. See, I just said what all the men be thinking. You know. All the ones what like, like pretend like they interested in y'all, but then when they see that they every time they take y'all out, they have to go to a buffet, and they don't be liking to go to the buffet all the time because after you know actually, y'all always have about three or four plates y'all take home with you, and after that, then y'all be ready to give up the coochie. They don't even want no coochie after that, and then they look at you like duh, you know. Child, this child, this coochie, too, child, this coochie was too much for him. Nah, it was too wet and sweaty, and them pants was too frayed, and all them seams and stuff. And plus, he didn't know how to undo that that uh, stretch bra strap from your pants. And dark. 
and they dissect everything you said. That's why I just wave, you know. If somebody said, hey, you know, and then they start turning up their nose at you and stuff, they need to be glad anybody noticed them. But yeah, after, but after they get their little, you know, trade school degree and stuff, you can't tell them nothing then. And then they get a job being a um, uh, a telemarketer. <laughs> Boy, when they get on them telemarketing jobs, ooh, them chairs, you know, but they have to swap out them chairs. They have to buy new chairs every month. Because them rollers start creaking. They have to keep WD-40 at their desk for them, for them wheels on them on those uh, chairs and stuff. And the hinges be, you know, all the... They tear up the hinges. They tear up the, uh, the, the seats to the chairs. The rollers be them flipped over. And uh, so half the time, they have to let them go. So anyway, and they stay mad because they can't keep no job. And then guys like me, you know, the fine guys that they be wanting to get with, I end up getting with them. And then they stay mad with me. All they do is just roll their eyes at me. I just walk on past them. I don't pay them no attention. I just say, you know, it's just another croaker sack heifer. Hefty bag heifer. And you can look at you. Yeah. And the only way they feel relevant, y'all, all of them have to, like, you know, congregate and everything like that. They have to meet up in the back of a of a of, of like a U-Haul truck because the buses see they can't fit on the on the seats of these chartered buses and stuff. So they have to be like a, a either a 18 wheeler or they or they go on the back of a U-Haul. Depending on how many of it is. If it's over five of them, they have to go in the back of a, a 18 wheeler. If it's three or less, they just run a U-Haul and haul them around town, drop them off at the buffet. Then after that, they all stand in line at at uh at Krispy Kreme. Let's see what else she talking about. So anyway, what is this a panel on me? So that's what they do. They all get together and do panels on you now. And look at her, y'all. Her mouth running, and she be looking through the screen, cause they be so hungry. And all up under their neck be so sweaty and wet and moist. And when they wipe it, and when they wipe it with the, uh, you know, with the rag and stuff, it'll it just be it just be musted, musted necks, musted thighs, sweaty necks, sweaty thighs, drippy dripping necks, drippy thighs, clunk clunk clunk. High heels, broke high heels and stuff. It, you know, it's just a mess. That's why they stay home half the time because, see, they be done broke all the high heels on, on their shoes. They be done broke all the legs off the couches and chairs and stuff. All they box sprains be done, you know, got dwarfed and, you know, morphed and everything. All of, they, all of, the, um, all of the box sprains and stuff are, and stuff be broke. And when a man do them, you know, they have to just do them on the ground in a straw. And, you know, that's just what they do, y'all. They always have to have backup. They can't do nothing by themselves. I didn't realize that they all sat around and did panels all day. That's why, you know, you know, it ain't no way that they can be about nothing because, see... If they, if they, if you see what they do is they get up and in their mind they cute, so they throw on they weave, you know, and then they go to their make believe jobs, you know, they put on their flats because all the high, all the heels are broke off of all their shoes. They put on their flats and they all meet up at the um, at the at, at the uh, Circle K. And they all pretend like, you know, they finna get ready to go to their jobs and they buy a donut. 
And then they call, you know, and then they call for the U-Haul to come and pick them all up. Yeah, I had no idea. But see, the thing about social media is, it gives them, you know, a purpose. Because they have to have some kind of purpose, y'all. I mean, you know, can y'all imagine sitting around with a rag, wiping between your legs and up under your arms and all around your neck and stuff all day long? You have, they, have to let up all, they have to open up all the doors and let up all the windows. And they sit up and laugh at each other. Hey, Girl, he wanted me, but shoot, I, he can't handle all this. No, he sure can't handle all this. Girl, you know they can't handle all of this, what we got. 15 tons of fun. The Crocus Sack Heifer Club. And, and listen to them, they all sound alike. Because, see, they can't never, they arms be so fat, see, all of this extra up under their arms. They can't never clean out their ears. And, and that's why they all talk so loud because they can't never get the Q-tip up, you know, inside their ear to get the wax out their ears because they arms be so heavy that they always weigh it down. And then then when they all come down, it slip because it be so wet from, up, from all the fuck up under their arm, it just slip. All these slips be nasty and wet and stinking. Uh, and then they look at you like, oh, you know. Be quick. And see, they just keep stuff going. They have to do something to be relevant. All of, them, all of them have on glasses. All of them cuss like a drunk sailor. And once a year, they all make trips to. They all make trips to a military town. Because, see, they know them soldiers, you know, they'll, they'll lay with anything. Especially after they come out of basic training. The travel the world. See? They say they travel the world, but they all make a trip to a different military base once a year. But that's... And they have to get on here and, and always act like they're moaning what they is. And always act like they, you know, they been, did this. And they know all about that. But you know what? They don't know, they don't even know what it's like to have a man to stay around. That's why they be scared to go to the bathroom after, you know, after the man get his nut. They be scared to go to the bathroom because the minute they go to the bathroom, when they come back out, the man gone every time. No note, no phone call, no text, no FaceTime, no nothing. Matter of fact, half of them be having those disposable phone numbers. And that's why they stay mad and they talk so loud all the time to uh, each other. Me. Like, girl, where we gonna go next week, girl? Child, you know, it ain't, ain't, oh, uh, you know, it ain't many men what can handle all this. All them rips and uh, and uh, you know threads and stuff would be be unraveling all the way down their dress. They always get called into human resources, and they tell them, "Say now, watch your seams, watch your you know, watch your threads, you know." And so, between all of them, one have uh, one have the threads, one have the safety pins, and one have the needles. And, you know, they just, like, they try as hard as they can to fit in. But but they can't never fit in because, see, all the other girls, they just, you know, like, venture off away from them and stuff. And so they be like, ooh, yeah, girl, you know, you know, they can't handle us. And that's why they stay so mad. I'm dumb. I'm you hear how they talk? Stupid. I'm this. See? They are. I mean, at least it's like sometimes they realize that, you know, I am really is dumb. 
And I am really is stupid sometimes. You know, and they have to console one another like that, you know? Or I don't, you know. You know, and they don't ever know, they don't ever think, they don't ever, you know, have a clue about nothing. It ain't credible. You know. And they all have to go, they all have to buy this, you know, um, extra insurance on, on all their furniture and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like and they sit up here and they look so happy. You know, when they, you know, when all of them get together like that, it'd be the highlight of their day. I'd be feeling so sorry for them. And, and they just don't know folks sit around and laugh at them. But they come in them chats and stuff and act like they care about them. But I just be feeling so sorry for them. We just call them, you know, the, you know, the hefty bad croaker sack heifers. Justice League. Justice League. Justice League. Justice League. See, you see how they have to wipe all that sweat from around their eyebrows, all from around their face, all from in between their eyes and stuff. And you know, and like I said, y'all, their hands and stuff, it be so moist and wet, you know. Every time you, every, I mean, anything they touch, they leave like wet fingerprints and stuff on them. They just be so kind of like, it's just like it just be like a big old wet mess. You know. See, see how they have to do that, and that's the part I hate too. That's why they can't never wear no um, um, uh, eyebrow pencil or nothing like that because see it it get all on their hands, and wherever they wipe it at, see it leaves all these black streaks and stuff. And see, and then in between, in between, like like the back of their legs, always wet and sweaty. And then they have to use that special cream on in between their thighs because their thighs rub together. But they always go and get their eyes, eyebrows arched together, you know. Because that's, that, that's the only kind of maintenance they can do is to get their eyebrows arched. So it's like they make a, all, of them, all of them go once a month and get their eyebrows arched. And they have to, and they have to close down the shop when they all come in. <laughs> can't nobody else fit in the shop. They have to sit them all on the floor because they, they won't fit in the chairs. Saying I wasn't playing. Yeah. And see, these uh, those people at the Chinese shop be scared of them. Cause see they look at it, you know. Cause see they look at them kind of crazy, like, ooh, you know, y'all can't accommodate the big girls. Oh no, 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 no. We, 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 we accommodate you. And when they get up off them flow, they have to mop them flows down. It's awful. I mean, I had never seen nothing like it. That's why a lot of people don't go to the same shops what they go to. Then you know, it's almost they need, it's almost like they need special accommodations. Movement, and it's awful how they can't do nothing without each other. You know, the minute they wake up, girl, they have to call each other. Girl, I woke up. <laughs> yeah, I woke up too, girl. Then they start wiping all their sweat and stuff, changing them linens and stuff, changing all them uh, pillowcases and all this different stuff. Everything just be wet and it's just be a big old wet mess. The whole bedroom be a big old wet mess. What about shows? And they feel so relevant when they get on here and talk about nothing. And it's a shame that, that they won't get up off their sweaty, wet, dripping ass and try to and, and try to walk themselves down, you know. To the corner store somewhere, and then ask them if, if they accepting some kind of application or something for a cashier. But the thing is, see, won't nobody hire them as no cashier, cause see, they not able to stand up for over fifteen minutes at a time. They have to take a break every fifteen minutes, and they all have uh, about five or ten bags of peanuts, cause they eat peanuts on their breaks all the time. That's why they be sweating all the time. They'll never drink no water.
you in a motherfucking bush. And they just be hollering. Hollering for each other. That's their word, you know. That MF word. That's how they holler for one another. I need backup. I need backup. Anytime you hear them say that, that's their little cold word for backup. Then all these notifications and stuff go off. Ring the alarm. Ring the alarm. She said that they. Yeah. And and uh, and a lot of them, you know, they just sit around and they just amount to nothing. You y'all know how like a croaker sack ain't no more good after that. You know, you just kind of like just just throw it in. You know, it's like you throw it in your backyard or something. You just you know, for like, if it's something, if it's, if, it, if it's some kind of trash you ever need it for something, but you really can't think of nothing that you ever would need it for, but you leave, but you keep it just in case you might need it for something. That's what they have just really amounted to. And they feel so important when they get on here and congregate. You know, Emma. And they can't stand when nobody said nothing about them. And they all sit there. And you know when they tune into every word. You can hear a pen drop. Anytime one of them talking. You can hear a pen drop. They be taking notes. The ones that you can't hear is all taking notes. And, and, and you know all this different. Uh, tran you know translation. And all this different stuff is going on. Cause see a lot of them miss it because see they be busy wiping all that sweat from around their nose and all around their eyes and all around their necks and then a lot of them be having to go to the bathroom and then wring out them and wring out them rags, them nasty rags. And it's a shame they don't wash them nasty stinking rags. You know what they used to be wiping up all this, all everything that's dripping and and sweating and 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 all them different high heels and stuff. Whatever she made. all them broke high heels and stuff, and then and then when a man walk out the door, they be wondering if he ever gonna come back again. And half the time he have to come back because they be done hid some of heels that he need. Know who he is? And a lot of them just can't talk, you know. And so anyway, the ones what got just, you know, just a little bit of courage and stuff, they get on here. You know, the ones with, ones with a little bit of courage. But see, a whole lot of them, you know, all bands together. That's why they all forms together in these little cliques and different stuff. And then, you know, if a girl that's like not quite as big as them, you know, join their chats and stuff, they welcome everybody. But see, they all they all get on the phone and talk about them when they um, lead a chat and stuff. And see, and they get excited like that, you know, when they get up out they out they chair like that. It's because one of them being you know, said, um, "Girl, a man just um, left a left a message in the chat." And so, you know, they have to get a real good close look then and, and see if it's a troll or not. Because if, if it's a man, see, they have to try to find men for the ones of them where they ain't got no man. Because they don't never keep no man for over 60 or 90 days. And usually the man, you know, he the, usually the man, like, slip up on his way out the door from all this dripping and, and, and wet and moist and all this different stuff. Because uh, they have to mop the floors three and four times a day. Oh, but I think and a lot of them don't have no steps and stuff. They have to they have to put up they have to uh get these like concrete slabs built with these uh cast iron uh handrails and stuff. And, and you ever fool around and let one of them lose their balance and stuff. That's why all them cracks be in these sidewalks and stuff. My son, and see the and see the one was talking, that's what happened. She fell and hit her head on the sidewalk, and she ain't never been able to talk right no more. He said that is it. You know, I don't don't know what to say. 
That is why they do that, what they do. And so she have to translate and everything for all the rest of them. Get out. And believe me, y'all, they be plotting and scheming together in the background, trying to see who they can, you know, <clears throat> try to get over on and what man they think might be able to, you know, take them to a buffet this week. But my daughter is... So it's just it's just a, it's just a big old mess, and it is and so it ain't no wonder why they get on here and carry on like they do. They have to have somebody listen listen to them. And you notice how they all talk so loud? Don't none of them talk in a normal regular voice? Cause all of them ears be stopped up with wax. Seems like they would all get together and clean out one another's ears and stuff when they get together on all these different excursions and things. But see, they just feeble-minded like that. Half of them, half of them don't even know where they're going. They just have to, you know, follow the scent of the one before them. And they walk around with canes and stuff so they won't slip up. I'm offer you. And if anything on sale. They always, you know, make an announcement to all the rest of them. Girl, they got three panties for $10. This fucking show. And, they, and, it's, and it's awful how they cuss so. But see, that's because they just stay mad. They stay in a rage. And it, and it be like that because, see, they be wanting to fight, but they can't never catch the people who they want to fight. They can't even sneak up behind them. Cause they can smell them before they come up behind them. I power to find out. So that's why they have to get on here and do all these different panels for like you know, uh, uh, sixty and seventy hours a week. Laughing. And they mouth be wide open all the time. And if you notice when they close their mouth, it be like that. It be these long lines on the side of their mouth like that. You know, a lot of them have have had to like have that kind of like stitched in together like that because they eat too much. Oh, I, I yeah, and a lot of them, you know, a lot of them just can't hardly get it out. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, oh 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 oh. Ooh ooh. That's their little jungle chant. You don't have to do it well. And see, she sound like her mouth full of spit. And then they get on here and then they go through all your comments that you know it's like they try to it's like they try to dissect your life through all these different social media stuff that be all over uh Facebook and all this different stuff and they dot you and they be wanting these other um these other croaker sack heifer uh girls, you know, to try to kidnap you. It's the video a lot of times, that's the only way that they can get a man. They have to kidnap him. From over there, um. and then uh, and then they take a bath, and then they tape together all these different, you know, stuff. What they have to tape together to make sure that you know this ain't fraying, and you know these seams ain't popping, and these bra straps ain't ain't snapping, and all of their panties, you know, all the little elastic is gone in them. That's why the panties be halfway down they down you know or halfway down their thighs, but it stopped right there because their thighs rub together, and that's why they all get sh you know frayed like that. So they all made hit rags out of them. All their blouses is told. All all the seams up under their arms, you know, is uh, you know, is just all it, it ain't nothing but just thread, you know, thread. Thread on the seams of the pants, all the blouses toe, all the panties, uh, the elastic is uh, stretched on all the panties, all the bra straps is stretched and, and snapped and popped. That's why I have to keep safety pins. More neat. But they get on here and they feel like they halfway something. So you have to just go on and let them do it, y'all. I mean, you know. Even they deserve that, don't they? I mean, you got to think about it, you know. The men, what they want, we can get. I mean, even me. 
um, the size that they want to be, they'll never be. You know, they can't even dream of being a smaller size. You see what I'm saying? Because half, half the time, all that sweat and stuff, it be collecting around the cracks of their eyes and stuff. That's why they have to wash their face about three or four times when they get up every day. They have to get up an hour early just to wash their face and, and to get a bath. And, and they all have to have steel bathtubs because, you know, all them porcelain bathtubs got cracks in them and stuff. They have to have uh, special support up under them bathtubs, ha special hydraulic systems. And so that's why, you know, they just stay home all the time. Because, you know, because they be don't spend so much money on, you know, f for them houses and stuff to, to be able to accommodate them, you know. And all they do is sit around and count views and stuff. You know, the more views. And then they just make up all these different accounts where they can have all these extra artificial views. You know, to make up for all the artificial hair that they don't have. And all the sweat and all these sweat lines be around their face. It, it just be like permanent sweat lines. That's why they all wear them head, head rags around their head when they go get their eyebrows arched. So, you know, they have to come on here and feel like something and, you know, make themselves feel some kind of way. And then, of course, it's going to always be some, I don't know if this is a guy, a girl, or somebody, what they paid to come on here, um, you know. And they feel like if somebody called their name, it's for content. No, folks call their name because people want to point out where, you know, it's like everybody want to know where that smell is coming from. So everybody get on here and, you know, mention to everybody where, where all these different smells is coming from, you know. And they name out all the cities. So anyway, let them say whatever they need to do. You know, and however they need to feel and, you know, just whatever kind of congregation and all these different, you know, uh, different denominations of like panty sizes and all this different stuff. They all have to, you know, they have to do something. They really do. They have to do something because they just have all amounted up to nothing. You know, just a bunch of, you know, hefty croaker sack heifers, you know. So I just let them do what they do, you know. They'll make about 30, 40 uh, more hours of video.